Welcome to my channel, Grow Joyfully. In the two-part series, I explain what Bokashi brand is and demonstrate how I make the same at home. Many people object to Bokashi as they find the brand as a recurring cost. In the first video, I explain the role of Bokashi brand and the process of making it. I also explain how it is a big convenient factor to make the same at home in a very cost-effective manner. Bokashi brand is any carbon matter inoculated with beneficial microbes which help in fermenting the organic waste. We use this bran in stage 1 of Bokashi compo composting. We sprinkle the bran on the kitchen waste in stage 1. Under anaerobic conditions, the bacteria which is dominant in the bran get activated, they multiply and they kickstart the fermentation process of the kitchen waste. There are three terms here to understand clearly. Beneficial microbes, host and inoculation. Let me start with uh, the term beneficial microbes. In Bokashi, we also use the abbreviation EM. EM stands for effective microorganisms. It represents a concentrate of beneficial microbes that are used in the fermentation stage in Bokashi. There are uh, three key strains of bacteria in EM. The first one is uh, called as LAB, lactobacilli. This is the one that is used uh, to make yogurt and uh, cheese. It converts sugar into lactic acid. The next one is fungi or yeast. Again, you'll be familiar with it if you are making bread, alcohol, etc. The third category is uh, photosynthetic bacteria. They allow other microbes, beneficial microbes, to coexist and to multiply both at root level as well as on the surface of leaves. So while there is a lot of science behind it, if you are familiar with fermenting, pickling of food, brewing wines and beer, etc., you already know these. How do we source the effective microbes and store them in large quantities? Because every time we add kitchen waste, it has to be laced with the effective microbes. This is where Bokashi brand comes in handy. We take a concentrate of the effective microorganisms, we multiply them by providing moisture, a carbon substrate or the host and uh, something sweet like molasses or jaggery which acts as food. Now they multiply in billions now under anaerobic conditions. We dry out the bacteria and the carbon substrate, the bacteria go dormant and the carbon substrate inoculated with the microbes can now be stored for more than a year. So it's a huge convenience factor. Once we make the Bukashi brand inoculated, every time we add kitchen waste, we just lace the kitchen waste with this brand. Let us now understand the term host medium. It is a simple ca uh, carbon source that provides a home for the bacteria to cover and to live on. Anything that is a bit porous uh, so that it can absorb water and which has a lot of uh, surface area will do. There are many choices for the host medium. Let me list them now. A very popular host medium is bran. Bran from grains like wheat, rice, barley, rye, etc. We can also use husks of grains like rice. There are also zero cost options available. We can use crushed and pounded dry leaves, shredded newspaper and dried used coffee grounds. I usually make Bokashi bran with rice or wheat bran. I have also made successful batches with uh, shredded newspaper and coffee grounds. They work very well. You may also use cocoa peat or even dried coconut fiber. Chemical free sawdust will also work out very well. You may also use uh, straw or uh, even wood chips. As you can see, there are many choices for the host medium. You may choose the one that is easily available at your end. Let me explain the inoculation process now. We prepare a brew. This brew attracts a small concentration of the effective microbes from the environment. To this brew, we add molasses or jaggery. This is the food or the energy source for the microbes to multiply wildly in the next few weeks. We immerse the host in this liquid mix. 
the host acts like a kind of a residence wherein the bacteria can live we now ferment the host by storing it in airtight containers for 2 to 3 weeks after this we dry the inoculated host package and store it in airtight containers and the microbes are dormant and the shelf life of the inoculated host is almost more than a year when it comes to making the bokashi brew you may buy the patented product em1 which is available in the market it contains the three beneficial strains of defective microbes in small concentrations the second choice is to make your own from first principles at home let me explain how i prepare bokashi bran at home i prepare the lab culture i also prepare the fermented rice jaggery mix i use seaweed extract if it is available i prepare jaggery water i do not use molasses i mix all of these and uh, mix it with the host medium thoroughly the most medium i use nowadays is wheat bran or rice bran once it is mixed i put the bran i seal it in an airtight container for 2 to 3 weeks so it's completely anaerobic conditions under which the effective microbes multiply after 3 uh, weeks i observe white mold formation i take the inoculated bran out dry it thoroughly it takes about uh, a week to 10 days depending upon the weather conditions at my end then i store it in airtight containers this inoculated wheat or rice bran lasts nearly 1 and 1/2 years for me without any issue and it's a huge convenience factor for me the key ingredient in the, the bokashi brew is the lab culture in three videos i have explained how i make lab at home i find it a simple straightforward uh, process lab has multiple uses too i have shared them in these videos i request you to watch them the second step is uh, optional preparing the fermented rice jaggery mix i learned the process a few years back we take a coconut shell that has been cut into half and uh, we fill it uh, with uh, cooked rice half the volume and we cover it with uh, two layers of cotton cloth so that uh, no creepy collies or uh, insects can creep in and we embed the coconut shell inside the aerobic composting bin you may even place them inside a container in your garden we take out the shell from the composting bin after 4 or 5 days we remove the cloth and examine uh, check for white mold formation if we get a green or black mold formation we need to discard now we transfer the entire contents of the coconut shell to another bowl add equal amount of liquid jaggery and mix well i was told by the instructor that uh, this technique adds a few more effective microbes but i do not have uh, any other information about this technique since this is an optional uh, step uh, please do it at your convenience i always do it but i do find some shells with black mold formation and i discard them let me address a few concerns that you may have is it really easy to make bokashi bran oneself at home well a strong yes from my side based on my experience in the last 8 years of making bokashi bran at home as an annual exercise i make almost 50 kg of bran at one shot so far no bokashi batch has ever failed in stage 1 due to bran related issues the bran easily lasts me for 12 to 15 months is bokashi brew making a cumbersome process well i don't think so but if you find it cumbersome i suggest you buy the branded em1 product and make bokashi bran at home is bokashi bran making a cost effective a definite yes when compared to buying the bokashi bran if you make the bran using em1 product the cost is a little high but if you make the brew at home and use a zero cost host uh, the cost is definitely going to be very very minimal 
Does the homemade Bukashi brew contain all the three strains of the beneficial microbes? Well, I am not sure of this. Lab contains predominantly the lab microbes. It also has a few other beneficial strains. I have not done any uh, laboratory tests made on my Bukashi brew that I make at home. Uh, but in the context of organic terrace gardening, I think uh, this technique is sufficient from effectiveness angle. If you make Bokashi brand for commercial purposes, I suggest using the EM1 product. It's branded and it's guaranteed to contain the concentrate of all the three strains of beneficial microbes in EM. I've heard about uh, some uh, people uh, talking about uh, doing away with the Bokashi brand altogether. The alternative suggestions they give are sour butter milk or idli or dosa batter that we have in South India or uh, the Bokashi leachate itself uh, to use in stage 1. Well, I have only heard people talking about these alternatives. I do not have any testimonial here wherein uh, somebody has used this successfully and consistently uh, with equal effectiveness. To summarize, the benefits outweigh the costs at my end. I find it hugely convenient to make the Bokashi brand at home once a year and having it available all the time at my disposal for stage 1 fermentation in Bokashi. I use wheat or rice bran that is easily available in plenty at my end at very very economical costs and I find the Bokashi brand making a very cost effective routine. The most compelling reason is the consistent success that I have enjoyed in the last 8 years using the homemade Bukashi brand. My case for making Bukashi brand at home rests here. I find Bukashi composting a very easy, simple, joyful and effective uh, technique in the urban context. In my next video, I will demonstrate how I make the Bukashi brand at home. Thank you for watching my videos. Have a great day.